Morecambe. I think Blackpool's a bit on the common side. Morecambe's more refined. Have a main meal at night. Oh, yes. Since I lost my husband. Job's a boring woman. I have my main meal at night. Sunset across the bay, an all day on the sands. Two television plays written by Alan Bennett and filmed here in Morecambe. The inspiration for both of these films was largely based on Alan's childhood memories. As with many thousands of families from West Yorkshire, Alan, along with his brother and mum and dad, would come to Morecambe for their holidays. Here are some of Alan's early memories. Hope you enjoy them. This is Alan Bennett, and uh, though I was born in Leeds in 1934, uh, my memories of Morecambe start in about uh, 1940, when we used to uh, go for long weekends. We never had a long holiday because my dad uh, worked for the co-op, again with it being in the war. He only got Monday and Tuesday off, and sometimes we'd stay on with my mum, my brother and me, uh, for the rest of the week, but more, more often than not it was just for the weekend. But holidays in the war were either going to Wilsill uh, in Nidderdale or to uh, Morecambe, right. generally. Well, occasionally, we'd, very occasionally we'd go to Blackpool. But... My mum, we always thought that Morecambe was that bit more uh, genteel than Blackpool. Uh, so if we went to Blackpool, we stayed, we tended to stay in Cleveland because that was a bit less less common, as it were. Um, but, uh, and in Morecambe, we stayed up at the Bear End. Can you, can you remember how you got to Morecambe? Yes, we went on the train, but all the trains were very, very crowded. Um, and I remember people used to, um, I mean, very dangerously used to go along the line and get into the trains before they actually got into the on, onto the platform. And, uh, uh, we didn't, but uh, <laughs> means we didn't get a seat. The, the first intimation that you were nearly there was uh, the train would stop at Lancaster and and the porter would come along the platform saying Lancaster Green Air and uh, it's totally mysterious what this green air was. Everybody went on holiday at the same time so it would be on bank holidays it would be absolutely packed everywhere um, buses and, and trains. Most well a lot of people would have full boards that's to say um, they'd have uh, breakfast and, and um, high tea at night, um, but w we didn't, we just had breakfast uh, and, and we took our own food. And so we, we were always accompanied by cardboard boxes tied up with, you know, with, with all our rations in there. And I was a bit ashamed of this as a child because I thought it was somehow in there evidence of our sort of lowly status that we didn't actually have uh, bored like everybody else but it, we probably had better food than they did. Most of the times we went we weren't in in a big boarding house we were in fairly small um, places at the back of uh, in, we were sort of newly developed then um, more you know semi-detached houses as it were what would be your main entertainment centre? Well, we'd, we, we'd go to the pictures always. I mean, but that, that would be the true... Everybody went to the pictures twice a week or three times a week sometimes. I can remember seeing Jane Eyre at the Odeon in Morecambe and being terrified by it. <laughs> there was one kind of famously... Sexy film, I recall. I think it was, yeah, it was Julie in the Sun. I think it was called Lost in the Dust in the Papers. Uh, uh, and you'd have to queue. You always had to queue to get into the cinema. I can only remember um, going to the Winter Gardens once, and it was to see uh, Hutch, uh, Leslie Hutchinson, who was a pianist, uh, a black pianist he was, and he was... Uh, 
he was a he was a big star, uh, but to a child of eight, you know, he was, he was the most boring thing in the world. You know, he was just playing the piano, uh, and you wanted a bit more than that. We used to go to things on the pier, uh, which would be. Um, more likely to be old-fashioned variety things. I, I remember that is just seeing the sea through the boards of the pier, you know, and being terrified that you could actually actually <laughs> fall through. So we probably went to um, if they had or, little orchestral concerts uh, during the day. We'd go to those because my dad was a violin. I played the violin. I remember people coming around and charging you for the deck chair. <laughs> I think there was a punch injury. I've forgotten it, but uh, I think I think I did. I think being surprised by how violent it was. If I saw it today, I'm sure it'd be the same. Um, there used to be talent shows. I don't think I ever went in for one, but uh, I wouldn't have had anything to contribute if I did really. We went. We took us on the Big Dipper. My brother and me. Uh, and the Morecambe Big Dipper, by, by Big Dipper standards, fairly mild, you know, but uh, I was petrified by it. I, I've never been on one since. Um, but but the thing that I do, do remember, I've written about this, was, was the bit I liked was um, when when you'd finished all the dipping, as it were, there's a bit where you coast along the uh, the top of the thing pass behind the boarding houses and you slowly come down the thing and I really like that but um, the actual um, you know zooming up and down I didn't like at all. My dad did and, and I, my brother probably did as well but anyway um, I mean there were all the things like waltzes and all the all the uh, rides that you were used to seeing but I, 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 I don't, we didn't have much money you see you know you know you they uh, and there'd be four of us. My brother and I were both born um, on May the 9th. Um, uh, my brother's three years older than me. But in counting back, uh, it means that uh, we must have been conceived in August. So uh, I assume that we were conceived in a boarding house somewhere, whether it was uh, in Morecambe or in Filey or Scarborough, I don't know, but uh, we never discussed it with my parents. I didn't like to think about it anyway. <laughs> the restri restricted atmosphere of the boarding house bedroom, and anyway. Uh, <laughs> and can you describe what your mum and dad looked like when they went on holiday? Well, they looked exactly the same as they did when they weren't on holiday. I mean. My dad always wore uh, a raincoat, uh, and, uh, and he, he'd wear a, a, a suit, um, and because uh, he had two suits, the suit uh, he wore uh, to work, and then what he called my other suit, and my other suit was his best suit, but uh, uh, and so he'd, he'd be in his his other suit to go on holiday. Um, but he'd never have such a thing as a sports jacket or anything like that. Uh, and he'd have a... He'd, I think he'd, he'd graduated to Trilby's um, uh, when uh, when I was growing up, but uh, when we went out around five or so, he'd still be wearing a, tr uh, a bowler hat, which uh, sounds extraordinary now, but it was quite commonplace then, you know, that was what you wore. But, it was just the way that people were. That was all, and you they, and all they'd they'd take their uh, socks off and paddle, um, but uh, they wouldn't do no other adjustments to it, what they were wearing. Would you say you had a, a happy childhood? It was yes, yes, it was. It was happy. It was dull. It was you know. Uh, it was, it's significant. I can remember so little of it really. Uh, it was just ordinary. I made two films in Morecambe, Sunset Across the Bay, a couple of years later, All Day on the Sands, um, which was, well, the first one was for BBC, the other one was for ITV. So that rather overlaid my actual memories, although it reflected it fairly accurately, you know, what, uh, what it had been like. The man in the film, uh, the dad in the film is is a bit is very really like my my father. The, uh, the way he gets up 
at six o'clock in the morning, even though he's on his holidays. And um, and the way he's always very um, rueful about stuff, it was like my dad. I can remember the lines. Yon's a boring woman, uh, talking about somebody that they sat next to in a shelter. Um, and um, just being, being quite um, satirical about stuff. So would you say that Morecambe, Morecambe memories are, are sort of happy memories for oh, you? Oh, well, uh, you know, it's Morecambe, you know. <laughs> it's the seaside. I mean, it's what I think of when, you know, I don't think of Brighton, I think of Morecambe. The view from um, coming in from Hestbank is spectacular. I mean, you, uh, particularly when, when I've been filming there, uh, on a, first thing on a morning, you know, you think, well, if, if it had the climate, it would be, you know, the most extraordinary place. But it can be a really inspiring... I mean, the, the shots in the films I've done were the first thing in... My dad, first thing in the morning, uh, walking along the beach. Uh, that's, I think, he's, you know, it takes some beating, does that? Yeah. Mm.